Hi, this is our third video in the Teaching Kids programming. Today at school we did something really fun. We captured input from the user, in this case the kids, and we did something with that information. We talked about input devices, and those are things like a keyboard, a mouse, a touch screen, it could be your voice, it could be a number of different things. In this case we're going to use the keyboard and mouse. Let's jump right into it and take a look at what we did. Here we have a monkey and to change your background or your sprite in Scratch you can click on your sprite and then go to costumes and click import there'll be all kinds of different ones and to do it for your background you'll click stage go to import and there'll be all kinds of different examples you can use there too you can also make your own here we have a monkey on a, on a funny background well, let's get started first we'll have our usual when you click the green flag start and then let's have uh, our monkey say something so we're going to use our looks tab we're going to say let's give the monkey a name we'll say hi my name is better not say curious that could lead to a d m c a takedown notice my name is bob why not now the monkey says, hi, hi, my name is Bob. Now let's get some input from the user. We'll have Bob uh, ask a question. And we're going to go down to, hmm, where did they say, say, think, clear? Sensing, go down to sensing. Always just look through all of them if you can't find something. We'll say, What's your name? And we'll wait for an answer. So now we click the green flag. Hi, my name is Bob. It waits two seconds. What's your name? And you can say your name. Now we haven't told it to do anything with that yet. When you get an answer to a question under sensing, it puts it in a variable. We talked about a variable being a pocket used to carry things around in your program. And when you ask a question, it puts it in a variable called answer, which you see over here. So now let's do something with it. We'll go back to looks and we'll say, uh, have it say something else. And now we can go to operators and have it do join two different things. So we're gonna drag that right up to where it said hello. We'll have it say hi in a space. And then we'll have, go back to sensing and pick answer and put it in the second box. So now when it runs, it'll say, hi, my name is Bob. What's your name? Put your name in. It'll go, hi, Tobin. So it took some input from you, the user, and now it's using it in the program. Let's do something else kind of interesting. It's about time for people to vote. So let's ask another question. Let's say, How old are you? When we get that answer, let's use a conditional, like we talked about last time. It's a fork in the road. You can go left or right. You know you have to be 18 years old to vote. So let's go back to our controls. We'll go, in this case, an if else. And we will say, uh, drag this little box from operators over that's a comparison. We will say if answer is greater than 17, we'll know they can vote. So then we will go down to back to looks and then we can say you can vote because if you're over 17, you can vote. Now, if you're less than 17, it'd be kind of neat to be able to tell them how many years they have to wait until they get to vote. So why don't we say, we will say something here, and we want to do kind of a compound thing. And this will be kind of neat. We'll go over to operators, and we want to join a couple things. We'll say, you can vote 
in. And then we want to join a couple things again to the second one. So you can vote in and on this first part we want to do a little math with our answer. So we'll use some subtraction. And the kids got this right away. I said, you know, how do you get to 18? You know, how many years you have to go? And they just knew this because these are the smartest children in the world. So you would go 18 minus answer, which is back on our sensing. And we'll end it with years. So now, unless I've done something terrible, this should work. Let's give it a shot. Hi, my name is Bob. What's your name? Say Tobin. Hi, Tobin. How old are you? And here I will lie. I'm actually, no, I'll tell the truth. I was born on leap year, so I'm technically 10 years old. Which, if you do the math, means I'm in real life about 23. Now it says I can vote in eight years. So it went through our conditional and it knows 10, 18 minus 10 is eight years, in leap years in this case. If we were to run this again and put in a name, hi Tobin, how old are you? And I put 23, my actual age. We'll say you can vote. So hit that conditional, knew that's more than, than 18 more than 17 in this case, and it says you can vote. So that's what we did today. We learned about getting some user input and doing some things with it, and we incorporated in using a variable we talked about last time, as well as doing a conditional. In this case, uh, if, then, else. In other words, if it's this, do this one thing. Otherwise, do this other thing. That's what we did today. The kids did great, had a really good time. And next week, we're going to do even more fun stuff. Maybe use user input to actually move, uh, move our sprite around on the screen and do different things. So, bye-bye.